Well, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, I'm here with R2, and we are um, having a little Star Wars marathon. I'm celebrating Star Wars Day, the 4th of May, by doing what I think is going to be my normal sort of annual sort of marathon now, because I haven't really appreciated, I've started to appreciate Star Wars more, and I really haven't watched it very often. I saw it on TV when I was a kid. I think I rented it once as a teenager, um, the series, and then I bought the um, the widescreen special um, widescreen versions when they came out, the remastered versions. And then I saw the special edition in the cinema. Then I saw the prequels, and eventually I got the DVDs with the revised special editions and the original versions, which were on four three, which I didn't realize because I had a TV. It wasn't until I went to watch them on Blu-ray that I realized they had permanently had the black bars in, and you had to sort of have a DVD where you could zoom in to get rid of them, um, but I have that, so I can watch those editions. Then there, of course, were the sequels and um, Rogue One and Solo and all that, which I liked, um, and I got really caught up in all the drama and all the all the toxic fans and everything, and I didn't really have time to actually enjoy the films. I didn't just get to watch them for the joy of it. It was watching for critique or response or something like that, and it's nice now to just watch them for the fun of it. And the way I'm doing it is I'm watching the original, the original um, series from, or the original trilogy from the um, the re-release of Star Wars with the Episode Four on it because I don't think anyone needs to go back and watch the original Star Wars where it just said Star Wars and then no Episode Four because we know it's part of a series. So yeah, I, I find people who are a bit obsessed with that a bit too much, but um, I understand why people want to watch the originals because not only is it how you remember it. But some of the things they changed weren't for the better. Um, things like removing the vagina monster and putting the beak in it, um, having Han shoot, you know, second or at the same time, depending on which version you watch, because now there's three different versions of that scene. Um, the Muppet Band, which even in 1997, the CGI looked like cartoon animation and just was cringe. So there's things like that that don't work, but then there's all the extra um, matte work and all the sort of world building and all the extra um, mats, shots of the cities and all that. So they add some depth and expansion to some of that. But then there are times where I'd really just rather have a banter or, or whatever standing in the background looking photorealistic, a part, part of the actual scene, than a CGI one stomping through the scene looking totally CGI. So, um, yeah, so there's the original. And then watch the prequels, which is chronologically how they were shown. But then you go chronologically with the actual fictional universe and watch Solo, Rogue One. You watch the third or fourth rev revision of the special edition and then you watch the sequel. So that's the way I'm doing it. You can't really do the, nine, the 11 movie marathon. You can't do the 9 movie marathon because you've got to throw in Solo and Rogue One. But you can't do the 11 movie marathon really either. So it's really a 14 movie marathon. You've got to watch the originals and then the special editions, revi the re revised special editions. And I'm fine with that because it gives me an excuse to watch the films twice. I love them enough to watch them twice, and I enjoy them enough to watch them twice. And they are different, so there are things that you watch, that you notice, and you look at the films differently because they're different films and you're sort of looking for different things. Um, so I I'm really not as bothered by it by some people, although I do think they should give us a proper Blu-ray version of the original films, as they originally were. And they're acting like they can't, like the film prints don't exist, but yet the fans made the despecialized edition, so if we could do it without any real resources, then why the hell can't Disney give it to us? I know George doesn't really want it, but why at this point? He knows the despecialized edition exists, he knows the original Laserdisc versions and the ones he put on, they put on the official release exists, and they don't look as good. So why? He's like, well, I want people to only see my version as I want it to be, and I'm like, yeah, but they're still going to watch the originals and it's not going to look as good as you could make it. So I don't understand his resistance with that. But um, I, mean, I just wanted to share my um, my little plan and my feelings and um, I'm kind of wondering how other people look at it. I mean, I know how the toxic fans think they hate everything, but um, the actual fans who actually watch the show, watch the movies and actually enjoy them, you know, how do they watch them? How often do they watch them? Like, I haven't watched these films since just before um, the last film. And I can never remember what it was called. Um, <laughs> but I watched them all, like, in the couple of days leading up to going to see that in the cinema. And that's the last time I watched them. And 
I can't remember when I saw them before that, probably before, um, I think before the last um, prequel I sat down and watched um, the first two. So I think, yeah, that's, that's a lot of time. And I really love them, I really enjoy them, I'm like, I should watch these things more, and now I'm going to use Star Wars Day as an excuse to watch them every year. Otherwise, they do just get forgotten behind new films and things I have to do. So um, I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the prequels, um, the sequels, the special editions, the revised special editions, and you know how to watch them and how do you watch them. But um, I'm going to take my little, my little favourite R2-D2. It's actually a bubble bath. Um, so, I don't know. I don't care. It still looks like a good little R2 toy. I've had it for, like, my whole life. Um, I'm gonna go.